Show. Pick me up! How am I gonna go from here with y'all? Mothers and daughters divided. I'm so angry at her for not being here. You don't know who your dad is. Why don't you tell her? I miss her. I miss her smile, I miss her laugh. She lost one child. This young woman stabbed her nine times. And fears for the other. It's too late. I'm older now. I just want some space. Right now. coming and thanks for watching. It is so painful to see mothers and daughters divided. My guest today will try to mend their relationships and bring their families back together. Please welcome Ashley to the show. Ashley, how you doing? All right. All right. All right. What kind of problems are you having with your mother? Why can't the two of you get along? It started since I was like a little kid. It's been going on for a long time now and it's getting to the point where I don't know what else to do. Since age five, you, you haven't been raised by your mom at all? No, my dad raised me. At age five, I decided that I didn't want to be where my mom was or around the guy that she was with, so I left. Why? There's something, even at that early part of your life, being a woman, a girl, you knew something was wrong. What was it? I mean, even at, the, uh, at a young age, he creeped me out. Like, I was five years old, and it was just something what, about One of her ex-boyfriends. What one happened? Ex what, what happened? I mean, it was instances where I would hear them arguing, and I've heard people argue before, but it's just things that were said and words that were exchanged, and there have been different um, instances, like once he, like, actually grabbed her by her ankles and held her over a toilet next to her, was she ready to die? And so he grabbed your mother yeah. by her ankles, put her head in the toilet. Like, right over it, yeah. Like a plunger. Basically, and, that's and what said, it was. Said, and said, and said, are you ready to die? Are you ready to die? Right. And me knowing that I'm around that type of person, I'm like, okay, if he's supposed to love my mom, and he would do her like that, and I definitely don't want to be around for now, it. Now, let's talk about this alleged sexual abuse that involved your sister with one of the ex-boyfriends. It was that same ex-boyfriend. Same guy. Mm hmm What happened? I, at the time, I was living with my dad, and I went over there for the weekend, and my little sister, she was acting funny. So, you know, I pulled her to the side. I'm like, what's wrong with you? And she didn't want to tell me. So I basically made her tell me what was wrong. And she told me that basically he molested her. And at the time, I was like 12 years old. She was around 9 or 8 or something like that. And I'm like, I don't know what to do in this situation. I called my mom and I told her. And, of you know, course, when you told your mom, Mama, we got a problem here. What did your mom do? She came home from work like it was a big deal for a while. And then after that, I don't know what happened. I, I didn't hear anything else about it. Um, I know my dad came and got me that same day because I couldn't, I still couldn't wrap my head around it. To this day, I don't really, I, I've never understood stuff like that. As a child, is it fair to say that you believe that your mother chose men over you? Oh, all the time, all the time. That's one of the main reasons why we're here today because we don't feel like we're important to her, even as, a uh, teenager in high school, I always wondered, you know, why is it my mom here? And it's always like, you know, you could have called me, you could have done this. I'm like, dude, you're the parent. Like, there's certain stuff that you're supposed to do as a child. You're supposed to be here for me. You, you were a little girl saying, I need my mom. And she was not there. What do you want to see happen today? I mean, I just want to get everything out and off of my chest. And I still don't really understand, you know, why she wasn't there. It's like, at I'm so angry at her for not being there for me, but at the same time, like, I'm thankful because she showed me what type of person my dad is. Like, I love my dad so much because he did everything for me. To this day, like, my dad loves me and he shows me, but it's like I don't get that from her and it, like, it hurts a lot. Did your mom recently uh, kick you out of the house, you and your sister? Yes. Um, it was a situation where basically it was the same everyday thing, really. But it escalated. I've decided, you know, I'm not a little kid anymore. Like, I'm not going to sit here and let you downplay me or talk down about me. I'm going to stand up for myself. And it escalated, and we had to leave the house. The police were called, and, like, I didn't mind. I mean, you know, I didn't want to be there anyway after that. But it was just like, what was the purpose of you calling the police? Regardless of everything that's happened, I love my mom, and I'm, I would never put my hands on her. And it was like, I was getting my stuff and leaving anyway, so I don't understand that either. You haven't talked to her in about a month? No, she didn't call after we left or anything. You consider this to be your last cry for help, 
for understanding and for a relationship. You need a relationship with your mother. Yeah, honestly, at this point, I don't feel like I need one, but I still want one. I feel like I, it's something missing. But at the same time, I'm not going to keep worrying myself and crying over something that can't be fixed. Please welcome Ashley's mother, Alicia, to the show. Alicia, come on in. Alicia, tell me you've heard this. What's in your yes. heart? Yes. Well, my daughters have been in a lot of pain, and they've never been able to express it to me. However, at young, a young age, I allowed Ashley to go stay with her dad, but uh, the only way I could be there was really by phone, and that was when she That's called not me. True, though. But what I didn't know was you really had all this hurt all this time, and you I mean, never you said expect, anything though? to. Like, did you well, I thought to we were. Like I actually thought we were closer than that, and that's the thing. We were trying to get there, but, but when you was at home with your you, dad, like it would have been better. Every to know incident, that you at it least was an argument, or the police was called. Okay, but where where was so I? So I give you that image. As opposed to just at least not you gave me the image. Did you chose your boyfriends over your kids? No, I did not. Did you I put them ahead of your children? No, I did not. Never First, did it. Never is did. Is that true? Never did it. This is this is what hurts me the most, Bill. Is because when they were young and growing up, I tried to keep my relationship. If they see it, just was come and go. You don't know what mom has got going on. You don't, you don't understand. So it was nothing. Anybody that meant something to me, I felt like I was going to another she level. She said she feels that, used. That's the ones you met. I mean, but let's be honest though. You you're, you're sitting here saying that your boyfriends hey, don't mean any like you okay, okay so we, we, you. Mean more, we mean more than your boyfriends right? exactly okay, so, what do you so mean? please explain to me why you know you, you you take the food stamps that you get for us and feed yourself and them better than you do us them who? You allow a dude them. to basically make both of your daughters leave. Really? And, and didn't call. I, really? I was in New Orleans for a year. This and is why. you never why? called to check on me. Not once. Wow. And you want me to think that you care about really? me? Every time I talk to you, and I call you. And how? What do you mean? Yeah, I left you in a bad way. You, you gave me yours. This dude sitting here calling me all in my name and everything, and you said nothing. Where was I? In the room that was outside, right? After no. the fact, after you found no. out everything that happened, it still was nothing. You were gone. It's always, oh, he ain't. Are you responsible for any of this? Are you responsible for any? Responsible? You're not responsible. No, I'm, uh, the point about Will when they were children. Will you take any responsibility? Oh yes. A when they were bit. children yeah. and their thought process of receiving. From the age of five, no she no moved out. No, you're not a kid, but you've been holding this in all these years. Let it out. Let Every it out. Every time I this is how you're gonna tell me. And the I only time I saw you was okay. that my dad well, brought me to your house. Okay, I was wrong. You I, know. I admit that. You, you know, know why? You know why? Because in my mind, I would rather, before I come show up every day, and me or dad, this lady got to argue, day. whatever. Any time I came, any time I came, it's altercations. That would have been nothing better. I was okay. a teenage girl. And I was a grown woman, and I didn't think it was healthy. 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 Okay, it was hey, always in contact. Look at where we at now. Is this always healthy? in contact. Is this healthy? That's because you've been dealing with something that you How can you say you're always in contact when she says you're not in she contact? She said she called hey, me. And at the age of five, at the age of five, she went to live with her dad and wasn't in your life. And in teenage years, she wasn't there. Well, you were never in my life. And she was afraid of your if boyfriend. You were, if she was... Uh, Go back to the sexual abuse of Jasmine. When that occurred, when that occurred. How, how protective were you with one of your ex-boyfriends with that incident? How protective were Very you? Very protective. The only reason he was in my home was because for when babysitting purposes... Did he pick you he up by no the encounter. ankles over a toilet? No, this so is that not... Never happened. No, honey. Didn't happen. No, honey, it happened with one person and you mix your people up. A child can't make that up, mama. A, a child, child can can't think make... like a child, so that's how she coming at me. She I thinks you picked mama. the boyfriends over the okay, kids. Okay, well, I'll tell her right now, I did not do that. Oh, let's so do why this. is she still there and I'm not? Oh, it's about him. Like, for real. You walked out. Why, though? Why? Because, Why? oh, I was on the phone with him, and I told him, um, you know what? Y'all three are called Y'all three? Y'all ain't got no way to go. No, I did not. No, I did not. I, I said, y'all three are causing the terrible. most problems what you said. because you're not getting from me what you want, how you want it. He wanted all the structure in the home. You want him, you and Jasmine want him out. We got Jasmine coming up. Let's get a different perspective from another daughter about the motherhood abilities of Alicia. When we continue, stay right there. The drama continues with another daughter. What's in your heart right now, Mom? What happened to her was the biggest hurt of my, upset of my life. And the family cracks under the pressure. No, it's not. My little sister. And I'm not even 
What, what do you I mean? mean? He went to jail. Her. And later. That's what pisses me off. But I gotta come here and see my child on the ground. Is your daughter an adult, but she just won't leave the nest? If you want to get your gold-digging daughter out of the house, maybe we can help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Let's put the cheese on the ground. There has really taken a huge toll on my life. I feel like every girl needs her mom to show her how to be a woman. I'm so tired of fighting with you. Just before we bring out Jasmine, Ashley, what would you like to see your mother do differently from this point forward? Uh, I see the bile, I see the anger, I see the retribution, I see the revenge, I see the asset. What is she? What can she do from this day forward to change? Like, just show. Like, you tell me that you care about me, but show it. Like the stuff. I mean, I don't. I just don't get it. You telling me that you love me and you care about me, but after I left, the only time I talked to you was when I called you. My dad calls me at least three times a week to make sure that I'm okay, I'm breathing. Like, the only time, the only reason why she even knows that I'm still alive is because I talk to my little brothers every day. Alicia, look, at, look in the eyes of your child. Are you listening to this? I hear her. Can you hear the pain? I hear it. She yes. wants to love. Why don't you call yes. her? Why don't you contact her? And not when she calls you. You initiate it. Look, it for years. Look, turn, look, look, look at this. It for years. Your behavior has caused this. Accept responsibility. I will. I have no problem with that. I just, I, I think I, de I dealt with my guilt in a different way. I dealt with my guilt. Um, guilt about what? Guilt. Well, something yeah. happened in your life. Well, ja with Jasmine, um, I don't let her talk about that. But just things that things times when I wasn't there and things that I didn't do when I was around and I did have them with me or we did spend time. I just used when they wanted whatever stuff and things they wanted, I just tried to give it to them. Is there if something you want to say help, to Ashley? Because you were a daughter. But besides being a mother, I, I you was, were a daughter. And I have a love, I love my mom. We talk every other day or so. Imagine, why don't you have that relationship? Why don't you have the relationship here that you have with because your mom? Because I knew, I, I, why? consciously or, or not, I knew that I had hurt them and I didn't know how. To fix it, and how and I fixed it was, I guess, pacifying it by material things that they needed anything. Well, you're needed really money, hurt. Or they need, yeah, I was really Jasmine, the answer Jasmine's was Jasmine's hurt is the Let's most do this. Please hurt. welcome Alicia's other daughter and Ashley's sister, Jasmine, of the show. Jasmine, come on out. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'm, I just. Mom, you, you saw her walk out and look at you. As soon as she, she walked out, look, look. What, what's in your heart right now, Mama? This, that's just this the biggest hurt. What happened to her was the biggest hurt of my upset of my life. One first, but her dad. You don't know who your dad is, and you demand to know where I came from. And, and I that feel like Because every child deserves to know who their parents are. Why don't you, know, you tell her? Because he, he, she always knew that. You are it was a one night thing. And I but mama, if you, if you knew that every child deserved to see their Jasmine, parents, I can only do what I can do. Mama, but you would not go and out. You would not go out how looking. You know? Mama, you would not go Just out looking for him. Just because I didn't come home him. every day, every time I report, well, I didn't find him. That meant I wasn't looking. How you gonna find him? I would rather not say I didn't. We, I had nothing to accomplish. Mama, I'd rather but say when you, but when you, but when you go anything. out, when you go out saying that you're looking for my dad, you come back and you're drunk. Drunk. Oh, well, let's do this, Jasmine. Talk about when while you were, were living with your own, of course. Hold we on. Were where? Hold on, Mom. When, when you were nine years Another old. Another state. When you were nine years old, this <laughs> at the hands of one, one of her boyfriends, it was sexual it abuse, correct? When that occurred to you, what I'm did you do? Got me here. Did you tell your mom? Yes, I told her. He told she told the her morning. Sister. I told. Well, I told my sister and the morning. Sister put after, her on the phone with me. Yes. While she was at work. Did she protect you, understand what went on, support you emotionally? I mean, as soon as she got off work, she um, she came to the house, told him to get all his stuff and leave. I mean... And we did what? Did I, we not confront him? Did we not go to his house? For you to be able to say, 
to, to make him give an account, and then you tell, call him a lie to his face, and we leave, and we get home, we got a detective car yeah, in the door. We, I mean, actually put, going for to the moment, school? put that guy to the side for the moment. He should be in prison. Put that guy to the side. That's, did, did he you, got dealt with. He got dealt with. He got dealt with. But, do you hold your mother? Yeah, he got Do you hold me. your mom accountable for bringing this guy into your world? Do you hold her responsible for her reaction to it? Jasmine, now's the to, moment. Tell her what you hold her to account. To some, to some extent, yes, because I feel like I feel like it should have been more that sh that was done. I feel like you should, he should, he. I feel like he shouldn't be here. About he shouldn't. He shouldn't be able to walk around at all. I think he should be locked up. Like, and I, I feel like. It's baby. He, he was. Mama. He was locked up. But he but let me, let me, like, let me mama, explain to you bro. Like, how he it stopped. My little sister. And I, I gave it to the hands of the law. Wrong decision. Y'all was going. Now he walking what do you mean? He, he went to jail. And for how long? I don't know. Why? I don't care. I didn't care. He had five dollars. I did what I had to do. do. He need to be in I jail. I put him in jail. How long he stayed when he got out, that's the knowledge I don't have. You might have more than I have. Since that happened, you've kicked him out of your home, you've called the police on him, and you call him bitches and hoes. No, no, Bill. It's, you ain't call us no bitches no, no hoes that day? Mama, no, mama, no. you were... Y'all some ungrateful Y'all What you mean? Put the hoes on. Turn on my plate. 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 Right, and that's why the police was called. Okay, then. Exactly. So you mad? You don't. And I put you out on the unit. You are walking out. Okay. So I put you out. What you mean? No, you're supposed to do what you want. You're supposed to be all my name. Call you out your name? So, so you, so you got really home? okay? If I call you, homeless. Home? they're homeless right Basically, now. They're homeless. Before they started walking their stuff out. We're living in the world. Before I said, before I said anything, you kicked them out. They didn't have nowhere to go. You call the names. You call the police on them. You call the police. They walked their stuff out. They us out the house. No, the police came and asked me what's going on. For knocking over a damn plant. Ashley, Ashley, mm -hmm. chill. I could have knocked you over. Look, look, Ashley, Ashley, chill, 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 right? chill. What you mean? Mama, do you have a drinking problem? You. Mama, Mama, Ashley, Ashley, you got a drinking no, problem. No, I do not. Ashley, does she have I'm a drinking problem? Ashley, does she have a drinking problem? Look, if they don't like it, you find something to do. Look, like, she drinks so I have something to do. Mama, there ain't no problem. Regardless, I'm with you. Mama, you might have a little drinking problem. Jasmine, go ahead. Regardless of how old we are, Mama, like, we are still your children. And I don't deny that. Pick me up. How am I gonna go from here with y'all? Oh, you know that. What do you mean I know that? I know what y'all had to say, what y'all been holding in. So now, what do you want? Let it out, Alicia. But they want a mother. What are you doing? Look, okay. You, you. They're here because they love you. She wants a mother that's loving, understanding, and in her life. That's all she wants. That's why both of them are here. We'll be back with more. Stay right there. More pain. Mama had a good paying job, paying her own bills on her house. I'm looking for that mom. I'm not trying to make her seem like she's just this bad, disgusting person. That's not what I'm trying to do. More anger. I hate coming in the house every day, seeing mama crying, because she miss y'all. And the core of this conflict. My mama before did not drink at all. Oh, is she in denial about alcoholism today? Yes. Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free 888-710-8425 for your chance to talk back with Bill. I just want y'all to, like, get along. I want y'all to be better. Like, some of y'all just look all over this and just come back how we were before as a family. You know, Alicia, despite everything that's been said and everything that's been done, despite the fact there's problems, mm -hmm. sexual abuse, mm -hmm. police are called, mm -hmm. anger in the home, you are blessed to have three kids who care enough about their love for you that they're going to come here, get out the problems, and try to start a new relationship. One more is here today. Do you agree with what I've said so far? Yes. You're blessed to have three kids that care enough. So many don't care enough, and they love you, they want to be with you. They want you in their lives. And I'm blessed to care enough to do what I could. Do you want them in your life? Do you want them in your life? Absolutely. Just briefly, Ashley, what has this done to your life, this relationship? What has it done to you as a, as a young woman? Honestly, I feel like it's made me a better person. Stronger. Um, it might sound bad, but 
from the stuff that I've went through with my mom and my stepmom, I felt like I've learned what type of woman not to be. So now I know what type I'm supposed to be. Like I know what I'm gonna do with my people. Alicia. Your own blood says you're a wrong example of what to be as a mother. How does if that's how she viewed it, me to be that, that's her opinion. Is that tough that's love? That's all she's got. She says it what doesn't what kill is. you makes you stronger. That's Same what she here, said. baby. And I had a hard, long walk leaving North Carolina at 17 and taking care of my kids to the best of my ability. All alone. Could you have so done better? Be, could you have done better? Ever I know as a father, I could have done better. By not involving certain people or allowing certain people to be involved, yes. Can I say something? Jasmine, like, yo. I don't want to, I, I don't want to come here and just make it seem like she's just a horrible mother. There was a point in time in my life where my mama did everything for, for, for all of us, all the kids that was in the house. Not in speaking house. on, not speaking on Ashley part. I'm talking about what happened in the house. There's a point in time my mama had a good paying job. She had her own car, paying her own car note, paying her own bills in her house. I'm looking for that mom. I'm not trying to make her seem like she's just this bad, disgusting person. That's not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to Alicia, make- Alicia, where'd that mother go? Where did that mother go? Where, my, mama, my mama before did not drink at all. Oh, if she, if she, if she, if she drank, it was, she was through, going somewhere. I went through and going out with her friends. Is she is drinking not a problem? bad mama. Is she, she is not is, a bad person. Is she in denial about alcoholism today? Yes. Bill, and I know I, she is. I, and Lisa. She's like 15, 20 pounds and she don't want to like, I know. she don't realize that we work about what is her. it? Is it the alcohol? Are you Bill, in denial? Bill, it's the stress. Stress. Just, you, I'm just of using what? the alcohol. Alcohol is the medicine, but what's the pain? The pain is their pain. The pain I've caused them. Well, you've got to stop it. Please welcome Alicia's son and Ashley and Jasmine's brother, Dallas, to the show. Dallas, come on. <laughs> Dallas, talk about how this is affecting your family. Your 16-year-old boy, how is this affecting your family life? It's affecting my family because when I look back on like how my family used to be, like talking about family vacations, going out, being a family, coming every day and to my mom's house for a Sunday dinner. Like listening to all that as a young boy and now seeing how every time they get with each other, it's an argument, they fighting, it's a problem. Like it hurts me, it hurts me and my other little brothers. And it's sad because I don't want to see my family like this because I'm a happy person. I'm always smiling and I'm always happy. And that's how I want everybody else to be. I just want everybody to be happy, just like me. I don't right, like tell me, tell me how hard it is for you. It's hard because, like, I mean, sometimes, I don't know. Like, my brother he got all of our pain. And it's he like, got all of our pain. He calls you crying. What happens? That was like, my little brothers and my sister, like, those are the closest people to me. It's my heartbeat. And the fact that they call me crying, you know, about the situation that's going on, whatever's going on in the house, like it bothers me because there's nothing I can do. Like I can't come and just get him and take him away for like a weekend and I can't just resolve the problems that we have by myself. Mm -hmm. Like they're a big part of why I call because I'm tired of it. Like I see it taking a toll on them. Mama, you're the leader, you're the matriarch of this family. Yeah, yeah. You're so blessed to have yeah. three kids who care enough about you to yeah. come here and confront you. And I allowed her to get this far to where they're going to her with their problems. Instead of you. Exactly. How does that and make I've been in the dark, a long time. And we've been in the house all together all the time. I mean. Because it's like. And Dallas talks. can't talk to you. But it's, it's like you can't well, talk like to you. It's like y'all. y'all only two that can. I'm, I don't understand, I understand why, but it's just y'all two. But Dallas and any of the rest of them can come to me I, and mama, tell me y'all whole story. I, mama, just, I, I try to talk to you. I try my hardest, but if, I right. feel like I get nowhere. In reference to, I no mean, give me, a, give, me, give me an in, re in reference to. You know to, what I hate, though? I hate coming in the house every day, seeing mama crying, cause she miss y'all. I hate. Did you two know that? Go ahead, Dallas. They don't like, know this. What about the day the incident happened? Dallas, Dallas, go ahead. The day the incident happened, when they got into that big argument, like they came to my school and told me their story, and they told me that they was leaving. It hurt me, cause nobody wants to see their sister and mom leave like on that kind of note, like. If I want them to leave, I want them to leave because they're going to college. Or I want them to leave because they got they going to the military or something. I don't want them to leave on our when I can't We have more coming up. Dallas, hold that thought. We have more coming up. Stay right there.
a family destroyed. I just miss her. I miss holding her. I miss her smile. I miss her, her laugh. One life lost. Basically, this young woman took my daughter's life, stabbed her nine times. Another that needs to be saved. She says you're on the same path. But she has a fear that the, uh, a grave site next to Briasia is going to save Jamera. Is your daughter an adult, but she just won't leave the nest? If you want to get your gold-digging daughter out of the house, maybe we can help. Contact me at BillCunninghamShow.com. Call me at 1-855-US-BILL or text GUEST at 95902. Message and data rates may apply. Let's put the cheese on it. I just miss her. I miss holding her. I miss her smile. I miss her, her laugh. Like she just died over something so senseless. That's what pisses me off. But I gotta come here and see my child on the ground. Oh, my baby, I love you so much. I want to be able to hold my child. That's what I want. If I could see her right now, like I would just want her to reach up and just let, I just want to hug her. I just want to touch her. I just want to feel her. You know, you would never guess that this smiling face would be suddenly taken from her loved ones. But her mother still grieves over the loss of her daughter and fears for the other one that survives. Please welcome Anika to the show. Anika, how you doing? There she is. That's your beautiful little girl. Before we go any further about the one that survives, your other daughter, tell us what happened to her. <clears throat> well, her name was Briasia. Briasia. And at the time, Briasia was 16 years old. Uh, she got into an altercation with another young lady. Um, this young lady was 19 years old at the time, and she was pregnant with a baby and had two small children. Uh, her and Briasia was dealing with the same guy. Um, basically, this young woman took my daughter's life, stabbed her nine times over a boy. So, yeah, my baby lost her life over another person. Over like a boyfriend, because two girls fight. And he over. cares about neither one of them. Now... You are scared for another one, uh, your other daughter, Jamera. Do you see Jamera going on the same path as Briasia? Yes, I do. Tell me what's going on. Well, uh, one of the reasons I called the show was because I was at the end of my ropes with Jamera, like ready to give up on her because I was too depressed and stressed. Um, Jamera was just being rebellious, um, you know, leaving the house for days. Weeks at a time, not calling home. Now, Nick, let's go back a little bit to give us an entire picture of this. Your uh, life, until about three years ago, yourself, you were completely out of control with drugs and prostitution, correct? Right. How long were you in that life? Wow. Um, years? I've been, yes, 17 Year. years. 17 since years. Since Jamira was born. Briasia had a mother who was a, a prostitute and a drug addict. That's right. Do you, do you have, it was a big wake up call for you, but did you feel any guilt about what happened to Briasia? I mean, you had nothing to do with it. I mean, it was about a boy. That's but what hurts the most, Bill, because uh, the night that Briasia was killed, they allowed me to see her. And that's the, at that moment is when my life changed because I saw my baby's lifeless body and there was nothing I could do about it. I couldn't fix this. And I felt so powerless. And I just refused to uh, allow her death to be in vain. I refuse. And you're gonna fight like a and warrior yes, poet. I will. I'll be, I'll Give her be. a hand for that sobriety. All right, now. Okay. We're going to try to save Jamera's life today. Yes. Beca because you see similar things going on with Jamera. I see it. What do you see? I see, uh, I see me and her. Let's start with me because I was a teenager before. I started using marijuana, smoking cigarettes. Those are all the gateways to everything else. Then it got a lot worse. And then it got worse. Boyfriends being abusive to me.
and not, you know, just looking for love in all the wrong places and, and accepting it because I wanted to be loved so much. And this is where Briasia came into play because I felt like I was one of those teenagers that wanted a baby to love me so that I can love, love it back. Well, let's do this. Please welcome Anika's daughter, Jamera, to the show. Jamera, come on out, honey. Are you having now a hard time getting along with your mother? Yes. Why? Because just our relationship now that my sister is not here. Um, you, you miss her so much? <laughs> Sorry, guys. You miss Briasia? Yes, I really miss her. Um, it's just that me and my mom's relationship is just back and forth. It's like a roller coaster. Um, Sorry. And your mom says you're on the same path. You're on the same path. <laughs> she has a fear that in one, two, three years, there'll be a, a grave site next to Briasia. It's going to say Jamera. Um, I don't think that because me and my sister are two different people. We you live go away two. at night. You don't come in. You're t well, tell her what she does. Well, just that my mom. Jamera, the issue that I have is when... I'm trying to set rules for a reason. And I tell you, rules are not to hurt you. It's to give you a sense of stability, something I didn't have. How old are you, honey? I'm 17. 17? Yes. And you go away for weeks with boys? And Just you, my, my boyfriend. Your boyfriend, you're but gone. But he's in jail, so. He's in jail now? Yes. Th this is, are these reasons that maybe your mother, maybe is not the guy for you if your boyfriend's in jail? Maybe? Possibly? They have feelings for us. They got something going on. It's over for us. And Bill, this is this is the thing. That's the hit right there. Because that's me. I see it because I've lived it. Stay right there. We got more coming up. Stay right there. Love watching from your couch? Wait until you see us live. If you're going to be in the New York City area and want free tickets to see a taping of the show, go to our official website, BillCunninghamShow.com, or call toll-free. 888-710-8425 for your chance to talk back with Bill. It's time to go to your phone and get ready for today's viewer decision. Anika fears that her daughter Jamira is headed down a dangerous path. Do you think Jamira will learn from her late sister Briasia and turn her behavior around? Call 855-TELL-BILL with your decision. You're also going to receive some valuable offers. What will you decide? Call 855-TELL-BILL now. let's do this maybe this is my perspective maybe there's a little bit of angst and difficulties in this relationship coming this way because for so many years you didn't have a proper role model you yeah. didn't have a good mother yes and you didn't develop those bonds and it took the murder of your sister mm -hmm. for your the light to go on after 13 14 rehab failures for your mother to say okay I'm done with that life yeah and do you have a little anger towards your mom for not being there when you were one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, um, ten, eleven, twelve years old? Yeah, I do now because tell her, like, tell her. It's I feel as though that I'm older now, and you know when me and Briasia was young, we lived the older life, like we was on our own a little bit, feeding, feeding each other, clothing each other, doing each other hair, getting each other ready for school, because was you wasn't job. here. That was your job, Mama. So. It's like I hold it. I held it in for all these years because I never wanted to hurt your feelings. But get it out. Honey. I just want to tell you that it's too late. I'm older now. I just want some space. Like I just want to be on my own. Okay. Well, guess what? I'm still the mom. I understand. And regardless of whether now, let me say this. I understand and I take responsibility mm -hmm. for the time that I that I wasn't there mm -hmm. um, because I was ill. Yeah. Just point blank, period. But I've done something about it now, okay? And I'm still know, mom. And I'm proud of I'm you. going to stand on my two feet, and I'm As still going to be the and best you're, you're parent still a child that the I'm law. going to be. You're not 18. And you're still exactly. You're 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 not 18 yet. What I always tell you when we're at home, right? Yes. And you're still under my roof. So I pay the cost to be the boss, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, it's my way or the highway. But at the same time. You know, I, 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 I'm trying to be open-minded 
you know, to your feelings because yes. your feelings is also valid. Yes. But you're a woman. In your mind, you're a woman. And in her mind, you're I'm a child. A child. <laughs> How do we make today different, Jamara, so that you're not next to Brian? Um, I told my she mom She didn't have that. enough money even to buy a headstone. Yeah. Th no, there's no headstone. Because I'm struggling to take care of her and her six-year-old and pay Just bills. A, a piece of dirt with no marker. Just single. I'm a single parent. Like, and I'm on a fixed income due to my depression of my child. Like, I can't work right now. But let me just say I am in college. I am getting the education. So, you know. Right. Jamara, what do we do different? Are you willing, you know, under your mom's roof, to accept the wisdom of ages? She's traveled a path hardly any mother travels. 17 years of drugs and prostitution. She is struggling and she's trying. And you can help her. You can assist her. You can make things better. When things get real serious in my house and things like that, I have to separate myself because my mind will tell me to do other Shut things. Shut down. Do you love each other? Yes, I love yes, my mom. Yes, I love my, my child with all, uh, with all my heart. We'll be back with more. Stay right there. Mothers and daughters shattered by a painful past. Since that happened, you've kicked them out of your home, you've called the police on them, and you call them bitches and hoes. No, mama, no. you are yes, yes. Mama, you you mad? Mad? You don't. And I put you out of you. You are walking out. And a tragic death. Because I saw my baby's lifeless body, and there was nothing I could do about it. I couldn't fix this. Is it ever too late for mothers and daughters to heal the wounds that have divided them for years? Please welcome psychotherapist Robbie Ludwig to the show. Robbie, how you doing? Good I'm to good. see you again. Thank you. Why don't we begin all the way down here with the difficulties we've had with the death of Briasia? Jamara's acting up a little bit, and where we go in this relationship with Anika? Well, I, I mean, first of all, this family has been a victim of crime. And so I would hope that there would be some support that you would get. Have you ever gotten any support yes, for being I a crime victim? Yes, I was counseling for okay. a little while. Um, I don't think I really allowed it to take its course because I went a couple months and I just cried too much. Mm -hmm. so I, I just felt like it, it wasn't working. And, and so I think for... The daughter, your daughter, that there's survivor guilt as well. But I do think that there is a little bit of that self-destructive tendency going on. And right. so I think you need to give yourself permission to live a good life on behalf of your older sister who wasn't able to make it. Yeah, I learned from a lot of her mistakes, though. Yeah. So it's like, I know what to do and what not to do. Like, Jamar, do, right do you have consciousness all. of what you're doing? Do you Sometimes when you're 17, you, you're doing certain things, drinking, smoking, boys, mm. and you don't step outside of yourself and see what's going on. Like your mother says, look what's going on. Right, do you have consciousness that you got to change just a little bit? Yes, and I'm down? trying to do that now. Okay. I'm working on myself. So, I mean, I think that this is a healing process, and I think it is a little bit different because they are victims of crimes. And, and I want to give you credit for getting sober Almost and, and healing yourself. And how great, how great to have a mother. All right, Robbie, let's do this. Yeah. Before we go on to Alicia, we know, Anika, that you could not afford a headstone for your daughter, Briasia's grave. So we're going to provide one for you at no cost to uh -huh. you at all. Oh, my God, thank you. So, in, in the future, when you go there, instead of a piece of dirt, we're going to have a headstone put for you with her name. The fact that she lived is a monument to her life and the fact that she was a unique expression of your love and God's love so that there'll be a marker for that girl who was wrongfully oh murdered. Oh my God, Bill. Thank you We're so gonna much. We're going to take care of that for you, honey. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Let's move on now to Alicia. Alicia's got the three kids who love her and she loves them, but they got communication problems. I know. What I love about Alicia is that she's op you're open. She's open to really wanting to do better. And I think sometimes it's a lot more simple than we make it. Sometimes it's just hearing your child's pain and saying, I'm sorry. 
She's open yes. up saying, I want to do better. That's Ashley, right. you yeah. accept it? Of course. I mean, I love my mom to death. Like, that's why I called the show. I, I can't express it enough. But I feel like if we would have stayed at home and tried to do this, it wouldn't have went as well. So this show worked for you. And, and that's what I liked about this family. That's what I like about this family. Yes. I think they're here for the right reasons. Yes. They really want to heal. Yes. And, they, and, and the reason why your daughters fight with you is because they need you. If they didn't need you, if they gave up on you, they wouldn't talk and to they you. And they love you like crazy, yeah. Alicia. Accept yeah. their love. And please, let tomorrow be the first day of the rest of your but life. But I think it does make sense. It does. Yeah. When we continue to bottom line, for more info, go to the website, BillCunninghamShow.com. If you and your mom or daughter are at odds, here's the bottom line. Families are forever, and I have a lot of hope that Alicia is going to go home, take control of Ashley, Jasmine, and Dallas, and give them all the love that they deserve. And relative to Anika and Jamera, boy, a great mom and a great daughter. And I'm so proud that the next time Anika visits the tombstone, the grave of Briesha, there's going to be a monument to the fact that she existed. I want to thank all my guests for coming in, and I'll see you the next time. somewhat hard-hearted, but even I had a tear in my eye almost, because that was serious stuff. Yeah, it was. And it kind of worked. I, I, I think, I, unlike some of the shows that we've done, I think this one, there's a chance, a good yeah, chance that Alicia's going to change. And I think that you're giving them a headstone. A headstone. You're giving them a headstone. Everyone needs a piece of dirt with their name on it, saying this person lived as a monument in the future for the family it's to go and see. Here's Brian. And maybe that'll be an example, I hope, for the sister to say, you know what, I'm not going to be right and there. I'm going to stand tight with my mom, and we're going to, you know, live strong in her memory.